terms, a bit up a ton, as well as your view on the cement space as well. But one stock that's been doing well in the last few days has been NMDC Steel. Now, from the day of listing, it added on 31 rupees, it's been moving in upper circuit. Well, there were plenty of details that the street was waiting for, so I caught up with the management, and let's hear out what they had to tell us. Mr. Sumit Dev, the chairman and MD of the company, discussed a whole host of issues. Let's hear them out. So the steel plant has taken some time to uh, uh, to get all the facilities uh, ready, but we have now currently the cocoa one battery one is uh, already in operation since October. Uh, we would be able to start the center plant very very soon in a couple of days time. The cocoa one battery is two, and the, obviously a steel plant needs to have various phases, uh, various units which get uh, commissioned in, in in phases. And uh, ne next would be the blast furnace and the steel melting shop and the thin slab caster, which we expect to co commission mid uh, uh, end of March, April, uh, beginning of April. Okay, all right. So by April, we'll have the steel plant finally getting commissioned. Are we getting that correct? Yes. Okay, so what should be the rough number in terms of volumes you're looking at for FY24? It's a 3 million ton plant. Given the ramp up could take some time, what would be the realize, uh, realistic production volume you're looking at? So currently, uh, once we start commissioning this commissioning process, uh, the uh, the contractors who are the, the prime uh, contractors uh, uh, of the each of the units, they commission it and uh, they start they do the commissioning part and then we uh, we take it take it over. So they have to ramp it up to 66 percent and then uh, finally uh, once it reaches that capacity, we take it over take over the uh, the units one by one so uh, I, I would think uh, at the initially we would just be uh, starting the plant and uh, however uh, having said that the cocoa batteries are already uh, um, i mean the commissioned and taken over the, the we have taken over the uh, cocoa battery one and then is the center plant so uh, i don't think uh, i can give you a number at this stage uh, uh, with regard to production but uh, definitely uh, a million ton, million and a half. So would would, would be the would uh, a million ton would be the correct uh, picture. So at least at least a million tons is what you could do in FY twenty four. Yes. And you said that it needs to ramp up to around sixty six percent. When does that happen? Quarter two, quarter three. So 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 that it takes almost a year's time to uh, any steel plant to stabilize and run. Uh, properly, it, it takes a year almost, a year, year, year and a half. Okay, all right. Let's focus then on the CAPEX. How much have you already spent on this particular unit, point number one? Point number two, how much more do you need to spend? And point number three, give us the updated debt number. So currently, uh, we uh, we have almost done 21,000 uh, crores uh, is what we have spent. And uh, balance, we would be spending in, around... Uh, for the around two and a half, three thousand crores, which would include the raw material for the commissioning uh, of the steel plant, and uh, uh, the debt is around uh, five thousand crores is what we would ideally be looking at uh, over a period of time. Just to get that debt number correct, sir, I understand that the current debt is close to around two thousand eight hundred crores approximately. So you're saying once it gets commissioned, the peak debt will be close to around five thousand crores. That is correct. All right. Uh, Oh, seems fair then. So at what level does this unit break even though? If you could give us a rough sense, you're looking at a million tons, which will be, uh, you know, a uh, low capacity utilization level. But in FY25, I'm guessing that it ramps up. So at what utilization levels can it break even? So, so what happens in a normally in a steel plant, it takes, uh, it, it takes at least a couple of years to uh, to get, get get it ramped up and reach that level of uh, utilization where it gives uh, it gives us some return. So the quicker you try to do it, the the, the better it is. But uh, uh, so it, it will entirely depend on the sort of ramping up uh, process and the time it takes. So the less the number of years, I think one and a half two years is, is at least the minimum period where we will not be able to make any money on it. So uh, after that, subsequently probably. Uh, it gives a uh, start giving returns. Okay, all right. Now we have a discovered pricer, you know, in terms of uh, the stock stock market because it's a listed company. We have the rough rate out there. Now NMDC was supposed to buy close to around ten percent stake in this venture. What's happening out there? Have you fixed the price? Will NMDC be buying that ten percent or more or less? So this is the process being which is being uh, run by the disinvestment uh, ministry. That's Deepam, 
and uh, uh, yes, 10% uh, is what NMDC will have to uh, buy at, at some stage of, uh, and having said that, we have not yet come to the pricing uh, of the shares. Okay, all right, and how soon could this happen? Yeah, that is some uh, timeline which I'll not be able to predict because it is being run by the disinvestment ministry, so they will be able to, to give us a correct picture. However, uh, it, it, is on, uh, it is on target. Okay, all right. So NMDC has to buy 10% stake uh, in this particular unit. The street has a split opinion out there whether or not it's lucrative or not. Bulk of them believe that why should NMDC be wasting money on this steel plant? But do you want to justify that? So, so the, this uh, steel plant is located in uh, in, in the Bastar region of uh, Chhattisgarh, and uh, uh, the nearest. Uh, and we uh, we are the only uh, iron ore suppliers to the steel plant. We shall be the major iron ore suppliers to the steel plant. It it is also a logistical challenge to to that extent, and there are other issues related to it. So, uh, yes, definitely, this was a good idea to retain ten percent uh, stake in the steel plant uh, at the moment. I think the street thinks otherwise. Uh, they believe that maybe, in fact, that could be better utilization of this money. But we take your point. 10% is what you're going to be buying. We'll have to wait by uh, in terms of the timing as well as pricing. Talking about divestment, uh, there are various reports that indicate that maybe a JSW Steel, uh, you know, ArcelorMittal or other companies are looking to buy out the NMDC steel plant. Have you heard anything? Is that on the cards? So there would be various players who would be interested. Uh, if you look at this whole, uh, uh, the steel plant uh, per se, uh, and the disinvestment process which is go going on. So uh, currently, NMDC being a mining company uh, is not really, doesn't have the focus, nor does it have the yeah, capabilities to run the steel plant, run a steel plant. So, I, a, a, a joint venture partner or, or whoever, whomsoever comes in will be better equipped as steel manufacturer. That's will correct, be Mr. Dey. But have they already approached all? Have they made an offer? Because for a three million so that, ton plant to pay twenty four thousand crores is going to be a tall ask. Has an offer come in from any of these private companies? So, so that that would be. Uh, I'm not privy to that information. That is being run. Like I mentioned, it is being run by the disinvestment ministry. Okay, final question then. There is another rumor that maybe, in fact, sale could be merged with this particular unit or maybe RINL. Have you heard anything like that? No, no, I have not heard anything like that. All right, let's take a quick break on that note. On the other side of the break, we have the management of Mahindra Logistics joining in Ram Praveen Swaminathan, the MD and CEO of the company, to discuss their business outlook. Stay tuned.